What's up today, my wonderful people? Thank you all for checking out another video. As you can see, I'm leaning back in a little rocking chair. I know it's a different kind of video. You ain't never seen me sitting in my little rocking chair, have you? Well, this is my first time because guess what? I just got a brand new chair, right? I went to this place and in my mind, I'm like, man, I need a, I need a chair I can lean back a little bit for my videos, you know? So. I went and got a little chair for y'all, man. You know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even got a chair, man. I don't, I don't need to lean back all day, right? But when I make my videos, I like to lean back a little bit, you know? I want to feel like, you know, I want to feel like one of them grandmothers, man, that, 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 that read them kids a little bedtime story, and she be leaning back like this right here. But anyway, let's get back to the video. We're not here to talk about grandma, all right? thank you all for watching the daily videos you know I'm, I'm really working hard you know behind the videos to bring y'all more content uh and stuff keep in mind i got a lot of stuff going on you know working and uh i'm in bible school and that's graduation in like a month and a half so it's a lot of stuff that i'm doing you know that that really keeps me busy but at the same time i always like to stay consistent you know keep bringing you all content keep helping you all if you have any type of questions or, or motivation or whatever the case may be uh, i just want to do what i can and i want to be available to you you know because there's a lot of people that watch the videos you know their parents aren't in their lives you know they may not have brothers or sisters they may not have friends they may not have someone that's positive in their life right so so i just want to do my part and uh you know i always pray for y'all you know for god to give me the words and god could guide me you know give me the strength to uh to do what it is that he wants me to do what i want to talk to you about today is how do you get out of a bad relationship that you're stuck in okay how do you get out of a bad relationship that you're stuck in now on instagram i put up a few little uh a few little love caption posts i don't really know what the name of it is it's a caption or something it's, it's the thing where you write on that app you know i got this certain kind of app i'm gonna tell you the name of the app because i love sharing stuff man it's called uh insta quote that's what i used to write you know things on so i wrote this on insta quote and i got a lot of feedback on a lot of people were you know dming me questions about uh like relationship stuff like how do i get out of a relationship you know like how do i do this how do i do this how do i do this and to be completely honest with you, I just wanted to make a video on this topic because I got a lot of questions on this topic, mainly from men, okay? Mainly from men, okay? And I know that there's a lot of men out there watching this video, some women too. A lot of men, they may say, well, I've been with this woman, you know, for six years, but, but it's not there. Like, that's not where God wants me. Like, how do I get out of this relationship uh, with this person without hurting them? And there's a lot of women that may be stuck in a relationship and they may feel, you know, look, God don't want me in this relationship, but I don't know how to get out of this relationship. You know, like, I don't want to hurt the guy's feelings. Like, I mean, what do I do? I know I'm not supposed to be in this relationship, but I just keep going on. Like, you know, the years just keep going on and on and on. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what's up? Help me out. Well, I'm going to help you out today. Now, first of all, let me say, I know I might offend a few people in this video, but that's just how it is sometimes, you know? At the end of the day, I just wanna help you out. There's a lot of people out there that are in relationships, but they know good and well that God does not want them in that relationship, right? And just for the sake of time or just for the sake of convenience, they'll stay in it. They'll stay in a relationship just because, you know, they're getting free food, you know what I mean? Just because the guy is taking them out to IHOP every day, you know? Hey man, if somebody buying you pancakes every day with extra syrup on them, you will probably stay in that relationship too, all right? But anyway, let's get back to the video. But seriously though, a lot of people are in relationships and like I said, they know that God does not want them in that relationship, but they are in there just for convenience. A lot of people just don't want to be lonely. You know what I mean? So they just stay in something, right? For the sake of just, I don't know what the sake is, but just for the sake of that. So what I challenge you to do, listen, is be real with yourself. Like really go and look at yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself a question. Is, is this really what I want out of life? Like, is this what God wants for me? right? Because 99% of the time, you know, you know for a fact if that's not the person that God wants you with because God has placed on your heart numerous times, but you try to ignore it. You try to push it to the side. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you are in a relationship that you know that you're not supposed to be in, you're wasting your time, all right? You know, you could walk around talking about, oh, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't want to hurt her feel. You hurting your own self because you a wasting time, right? In that same time that you're wasting, God could be directing you to the person that you're really supposed to be with. So at the end of the day, you're only hurting yourself. You're not hurting nobody's feelings. You're hurting yourself. Whenever you are in a relationship that God does not want you in, guess what? You hurt yourself. You waste your time. 
you waste their time and most importantly guess what you wasting God's time to examine your relationship I'm not making this video trying to break a lot of people up or nothing like that come on now you know me you know I'm not out to do nothing crazy like that but what I am out to do is to help you and get you focused on where God wants you because if you are in a toxic relationship and you know that person just pulling you away from God and you really want to break free hey man I'm gonna help you out in this video you know all you gotta do is pray about it right pray about it ask God what is it that he wants you to do ask God if you're supposed to be in this relationship okay and if God puts it on your heart or if God confirms it if God tells you that you're not supposed to be in that relationship then you need to handle your business all right straight up now you may say well what's the easy way to tell that person what's the easy way to tell this person there ain't no easy way to do nothing in life all right at the end of the day you just have to be real with yourself Go talk to the person. Let them know what's going on. Let them know, listen, God really put it on my heart that he does not want me in this relationship. You know, and guess what? That person may be mad. That person may may take their arm and, and punch you inside your head. You know what I mean? But hey, that's just how it is sometimes. At the end of the day, you have to be real, right? You have to be purposeful in your life. You have to learn to set that person free because frankly, you've been, you like that word, frankly, huh? Frankly, you've been holding that person hostage all this time knowing you're not supposed to be with them. So you need to let that bird free. Like, let them go enjoy their life because guess what? They will eventually be led to the person that they're supposed to be with. And guess what? You will be led to the person that you're supposed to be with. But as long as you're just sitting there keeping this little bird in a cage, man, you ain't doing nobody a favor. You're blocking everybody's blessings. They got a man out there that, that's waiting on that woman that you keeping trapped in a, in a cage. You know in good and well you're not going to marry that woman. But anyway, let's get back to the video. I'm just trying to help you out, all right? So I challenge you, examine your relationship. If you know God does not want you in it, you need to let them know. You don't have to scream at them. Just talk to them like I'm talking to you, you know? Get them a little cup of coffee, man. Put them, up, put them a few plaques of Splendor in your coffee, man. And lean back in your chair like I'm doing right now. Sit in your rocking chair and tell them. Now, don't lean back too far. They might, they might knock you out, all right? You don't, want, you don't want to be too off guard, man. It might catch you with a right hook. I love you. I really appreciate you watching this video. And listen, remember, nothing is easy in life, but you want to be God-led in every single decision that you make, all right? Don't let comfort keep you in a relationship that you're not supposed to be in. Because at the end of the day, it's about doing God's will. It's about doing His purpose. Don't keep somebody trapped in a cage, and you know you ain't going to put no ring on that. Let's just be real here. All right. I love you. Thank you for checking out another video. Listen, this video helped you out. Be sure to hit the share button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Daily videos coming each and every day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way we can stay connected and I can keep bringing you great videos. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you have any video topics, any questions, and I will do my best to bring you as many videos as I can and stay consistent with it. Okay. I love you.